Then everybody's hand can seven. As they're there, I'm playing Dead Alive 3. One thing I want you to do so for now, if you want to see more of this Dead Alive 3 game, or any Dead Alive game, just comment down below and just go to my channel. I'll take requests as well. I think Gen Fu's is the oldest, probably the oldest character in the whole game. I don't know how long, how old the, uh, look at this, I'm throwing around catching up, but this is a trampoline. I don't know how old Tengu is. Okay, not in the franchise in this game. I don't know how old uh, Genru is, but I think this guy's the oldest character, or he's playable character in the game. And also I know a thing or two about this guy. As in his move sets. Nice storyline. And obviously, sadly, this guy's not in number six. Only because Elliot took his style. Which is his apprentice, number four. Well, obviously, every single game, I think Gen 3 appears in all of them. Yeah, I'm right, right. Including number one. I'm assuming this is his debut. Let's see if Kasumi, uh, I can beat Kasumi here. Mm. Nice spin kick. In number two, when you do that spin kick, you have to press the uh, diagonal down. I'm going to left down to finish the move instead of uh, doing the whole thing just by putting diagonal up which is right down over. depends what position you're standing in so obviously I lost there if I don't lose this time I mean this game is not as hard as number four I mean it's not as hard as number four I mean because the uh the free, the, this game is a three-way hold. The other game is a four-way hold. Meaning the way you counter uh, the moves. The counter system is different in both games. Number two, for six, you get to pick the counter system. Nice. Bit of a technique though. Come one or come all, guys. See if you can all beat me. Hello, that just comes out of nowhere. Who's that jumping out of the sky? Let's go then. I mean, that should be the danger zone. I know there's a lot in this game in terms of danger zones and moves. But the obviously danger zone where you have the electric steel cage and the place is electrified. And obviously you got the second danger zone where you kick him out the window and stuff like that. Oh... <sighs> Well, anyway, you'd be sick if there's a danger zone where you kick him out the gate or slam him uh, over the uh, balcony. That'd be pretty cool. And this game uh, stage was in number uh, dimension as well. And obviously, it would, this game in dimensions was okay. It's like it looked a bit different because the uh, sky and everything was red. In this game, the sky is normal. By like daytime, go now. Let's see if I can defeat Leon. Which I'm guessing he, these guys are, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, get Gen Fu's uh, storyline. Something to do, he has to get a cure for his uh, daughter or something like that. Lei Mei or whatever. I don't know, I don't know. But still, I uh, Lei Mei for more combat. But still, yeah, I don't know. Her name, so, Mei Lin, I don't know. I don't know much about this game. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. Ah, if you took me over balcony, we would have done dam dam double damage. Sorry. Come on, Gen Fu. Yeah, that's him taken care of. Here comes the ending of the last fight before Omega. Again, bro. The boss character. Yeah, I may, I may very just kill you with it. Oh, I love it. 
Uh, I don't know what was, then, then Brad Vaughn was talking about with uh, banter with, uh, what's his name, Elliot. Where he was like, uh, something, I can't remember what he says, man. It's really funny, though. Focus on your prey one by one or something like that. You end up dead. And the, then the monkey just screams and it's funny. Okay then, guys. Here comes the boss fight. Good thing I haven't got this on working hard. Or this video will be uh, very long. Well, I mean long. Very long. Let's go Omega. The Dark Samurai, just like, uh, what's his name? From Ninja Garden. Oh, I forgot his name now. Not Blanco, he's from the street right? I had his name there. Oh, you guys know? Just drop it down below. Also, I would love to know about this guy's storyline as well. Oh, uh, Jim Fu. Oh, come on. Let's go. I'm about to beat him. Can I beat him? Finish him. Come on, finish him off, Jim Fu. Oh, I guess he beat me. Not this time. Next time there's always a charm. That's it. His name's called Doku. See ya. Dark Samurai from Ninja Garden is called Doku. Looks nothing like this guy, but still. They're kind of the same concept and idea. Both Dark Samurai. We'll see the way that Japanese army is here. Come on, don't beat me again. Dark Samuel. Yep. Yeah, he beat me again. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's not a good start. What's that? I like know ultra hard, all this guy does is push you away and just shoot fireballs. Like he's shooting chicken McNuggets at you. So I have been seeing, but still, yeah. Hmm. Come on. Oh, he beat me again. Oh, he just blocks you away and just tosses fireballs at you. And it's just very annoying. Like what he does there. Or he spins his uh, lightsaber. <laughs> and then starts throwing fireballs at you. It's very annoying. It's one of the hardest bosses in the Dead Alive series. With uh, Alpha 152. And Alpha 152 is the hardest. He's probably next and he's probably a rider. Yeah, it'd be beaten. Anyway, it's Hard Can 7. I'll let you see the ending, so bye. Oh, before I go, please uh, subscribe to my channel. For more retro game commentary, and it'll really help me out. So, bye. This isn't uh, Jeff Fu's ending.